Hello everybody. So I've made a lot of progress on my layout expansion and I get a lot of questions around my foam tops that I use and I thought before I press this in place I'll show you some of my uh, construction behind it. So obviously you saw a lot of my grid work that uh, is the bench that this is sitting into. Now one of the really cool things about this foam, this is the one inch foam from Lowe's, is it has grooves in one side and then it has like an edge in the other so when I had you know this piece that's uh, 16 inches and this piece that's 48 inches wide um, one technique that I use so I'll be able to stand on this and make it a little more rigid is I stagger it so I have under this piece right here I have a 16 inch wide piece and then this underneath here is a 48 wide piece. So it's total opposite of what this is. So when I go to put this in place, just push it. Definitely fits tightly. It pressure fits. So sometimes if I'm getting a spot that doesn't want to rest very well, I'll just find one of my uh, cross braces and screw a screw into the foam to hold it. But this one is seating nice and tight. So I don't think that I'll have that issue. And then look at the surface of it. I told you the shelf thing was crazy that it worked out like this. And last night I pretty much finished up all the shelf parts. Make sure all this is pressed down good and flush. So here's my storage. So I was able to put, so I'm a big fan of the uh, Lionel uh, 15 inch aluminum cars with silhouettes. Um, I have several sets of them, so I was able to fit my Southern four car and two car set, my Kansas City Southern four car and two car set, my six car Chesapeake and Ohio, six car New York Central, and I have nine Norfolk and Western cars. Somehow I just kept collecting them before I decided I was gonna not do duplicate names or road numbers. Then I have the train of the century sitting here and all these fit so nice on the shelf. I also left this access way so I can still use these shelves for storage. So I can totally walk through there. Then I can also gain access through here. Because along here I have a whole bunch of the uh, Lionel box sets. Like the Texas Special um, 21 inch cars. I'll run that someday. Um, one of the MTH Proto 2 with like the maroon passenger cars. I forgot what it's called. Um, Wabash freight set, um, gold, um, MTH passenger cars, like four and two set. So I'm still, this is a work in progress on this side. So I was able to maintain, uh, 26 inches walking room over here. I was able to maintain 22 inches walking space around here. And the cool thing is, if you look right down this line here on the other side, like look through this case, this 22 inches puts me right on the 22 inches of this cantilever concrete wall. So if I wanna go from this point into this room, which is really supposed to become our slot car room. We do Carrera slot cars, AFX slot cars, Tyco slot cars, drag strip slot cars, four lane racing slot cars. So this was really supposed to be reserved for that, like our car room and our like 10,000 hot wheel car collection on the walls and stuff, but it's filled up with train junk right now. Um, 
anyway, if I didn't do slot cars, I can expand another 30 foot this way. Um, but I think this is going to be enough because I've tested, test fit this here, this line that I've got running. And I just need to add on a little bit more width right here. Then I can add on some road bed and attach the track directly to wood. Then the 090 curve does work out nicely here. As, you know, several of you commented, got to do the 090. Um, I do have a third bridge up here. Got to decide. I really wanted to leave this flat because I wanted to be able to run all my post-war engines and my uh, engines that are TMCC without cruising them and some of my K lines without having any incline declines that go up and down like the rest of the layout. So still deciding what to do there. But um, pretty excited because now I will have a third loop to run some trains and it has uh, quite a long straightaway. The layout, as I said, comes to about 22 foot long now um, when you include the wood on the ends. So that's my update. Got to do a little more finish work on the shelves. I uh, got to put up my baseboard around the layout. So still a lot of work to do, but making progress. That is my update for the evening. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.